This is the time we're going to do some housekeeping on our wires before we put our power distribution board back in. You'll notice first in the quad, this is the nose with the curved, and this is the tail with the flat end. We're going to take all of the ESCs, it doesn't matter which order, and we want to bring them so they're coming through the center between the bolts and up through the middle like this. You want to try and clear the bolts as best you can. And also keep a little slack because these ESCs are going to be like over here so you don't want them too tight. So the ESCs need to be there and bring the wire up there. So do that so you have enough slack. I know this is a little bit of a trick. You want to have those right there in the middle of the arm and this one too. That one has a little bit of slack. Get to come together. I know it's a little trouble to get those power wires out of the way. So they come up right, I'm going to the sideways. So they come up right there towards the front of the quadcopter because this is going to connect to the flight controller board which is going to be right over here. So that's why we want them there. Now for the power distribution board, before we put it down, by the way, here's another tip. Get them to go by through that hole and you can just push them down in there and that will just kind of hold them in place while you're doing this, okay? Use the hole kind of as a paper clip, sort of, just to hold it. Now take your power distribution board and again, you got the tail here. This goes out the end, the battery connector, and there's the battery connector. You remember the, um, the LED light wire, power wire, it's going to auxiliary one. We're going to take that and we're going to bend it underneath, just like that. We want it to be parallel with the power plug. And we're going to take this now, just like that, with these wires over the nuts and bolt. We want it to basically be on the carbon fiber and not over a bolt that could bind it. Do your best you can for that and then place it on the screws and hold it down. Now if you've done this right you'll see all the wires going between the two between the two screws here on both sides for both ESCs I know these video wires kind of get in the way of the view. I'll just move that out of the way. Just like that. And there's the power wire and there's the two LED wires. Make sure you have enough slack here. Take, go back to your ice cube tray and pull out your standoffs and start screwing them down. to start to secure the power distribution board. So the power distribution board is supplying power and keeping our wires neat. Now before we finish this, I want you to take a look, a careful look right here. You see how the board is right on the nut? You may not be able to see it, but you want to make sure the board is sandwiched squarely between the standoff and the nut, right there without a gap. If you have a gap, it means there's a wire on top of a nut holding it down. Once you know you've got that good, finger tight them, finger tight the standoffs all down good and tight. You should still be able to pull these a little bit. Make sure they're all about in the same location. That's good. As far as the red and black wires, just make sure they're going straight up. Because we have to solder these next to the power distribution board. They can get kind of tangled. There we go. Perfect. Now, it might be a good idea to take the bundles for the camera and the sense wire and just pull
put it off to the side like this because we don't want to bother with them right now. Okay. And you can you can even take a twist tie. I think I have one over here. Take a twist tie and just you know just keep them safe. Just put it around there because you don't want to accidentally burn something with your soldering iron. And that'll just protect it all for later, okay? See how nice and neat that is on the side? Okay, very good. And also, the flight controller, we again can just take that and pull that down and just put it out of the way. We're not going to be dealing with that. We are going to be dealing with the red and the black wires now in the next step.